In the early hours of the morning, thousands of people flocked to Al Rashid Road, southwest of Gaza City, desperate for aid. Instead, survivors say they walked into a trap. By the time the sun rose, the extent of the horror was clear. The dead and the dying lying side by side, gunned down by Israeli fire. The Israelis just opened random fire on us, as if it was a trap. Once we approached the aid trucks, the Israeli tanks and warplanes started firing on us. If this continues like this, we do not want any aid delivered at all. Every convoy coming means another massacre. Instead of aid, they've come away with the dead. By donkey cart, car and makeshift stretches, the wounded are taken to nearby hospitals, all of which are overwhelmed and barely functioning. This is exactly what we have been warning about, the hospital being out of service amid this massive influx of patients. We are operating on batteries. Most of our victims are in critical condition, which requires urgent surgical intervention. But the hospital is without operating rooms. I stand helpless. We are simply administering first aid treatment only. One of the survivors says bodies are still lying on the streets where they were gunned down. As soon as the aid trucks entered, the Israelis started shelling and shooting everyone who was on the road. They opened fire randomly, killing innocent men and women in cold blood. There was gunfire, snipers shooting, tanks shelling and drones. Palestinians are left with few options. Starve to death slowly or risk losing their lives collecting aid. Mike Lappel, Al Jazeera.